Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2. And this is the Jim Spartan Black Dog Squadron version, which is another one of our uh, uh, buffed mobile suits for this month. Uh, they upped its hit points, they upped its power, and uh, they upped its boost speed and actually gave it higher levels of uh, maneuver armor, assault booster, and melee combo controller. So you can now do a full three-hit melee combo with those heat knives. So yeah, it is... Uh, it is pretty good, and I, you know, I saved this, so presumably it's a half decent round, and was hoping to uh, to uh, get that to go a little bit further, so I could get whoever's taking point C. But yeah, was a little bit too quick on the turn. I was getting better at steering those things for a while, and then I ran a bunch of things that didn't have steerable uh, weapons, and just kind of lost it. It's you know just sometimes. Just jumping from thing to thing, you just lose that groove, and uh, I will have to try and get back to it. And, yeah, I had to break off for a second, but luckily, my uh, teammate, luckily I didn't hit them with a knockdown. We apologized to each other, and they held it still so that I could finish it off. So, all in all, a pretty good outcome. I am going to stealth up here and head around the outside edge. Hoping to get the drop on somebody did not exactly happen, but I did at least tag them, I think, directly in the forehead. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm using the Gundam ground type rifle with it because that is, it's on the low damage side. It, it, uh, it's, I'm, I just enjoy beam rifles and it's something I feel I'm pretty good at. So just being able to, you know, just get those pinpoint hits in really does help. And let's see, there is a, uh. I should, probably should have tried to use a salt booster to get over there, but there's just so many things between it and me, I was afraid I was going to get shot out of the sky. So instead, I'm just pulling back a little bit. Number four is there by themselves. Well, one and four are there, so... Yeah, I stealthed up so that I ha would have a, just a even just a split second of, uh, you know, surprise. And that is... I forget. I'm not sure if that's a Dwedge or a Dwedge Custom either way. Um, the big Tomahawk downswing did a number on my ally here. And that is G5. So, but yeah, I uh, might be the G5 booster. It is at least just the regular G5, which, as I recall, uh, boosters all uh, all about the melee, and uh, the uh, standard G5 is uh, has more points and range damage. But yeah, as you can see, uh, they did uh, like I said, added another uh, level of melee combo controller, so it does get the full three hit uh, three swings now. I went with just two, though, because I wanted them knocked down quickly so I could get away. And, yeah. Uh, again, I'm, I'm liking how this is working, and I think the changes have worked out pretty well. Didn't quite have enough juice in the beam pistols to finish them off, but that's what the knife is for. Uh, again, uh, uh, with the combo controller, I believe they also uh, improved the... Uh, uh, ready up time of, of the uh, heat knives and also uh, uh, their damage. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely better off than it was before. And let's see. Uh, yep, if Jaeger got uh, Jaeger Jaeger got me, and uh, that's you know that it's a it's a sniper. It's a general sniper. It's pretty well equipped to uh, take on a. Uh, melee raid, so it's time to come back in, probably uh, stealth up in a moment and you know try and find a way in but first just kind of looking around Yeah, I think I decided to go towards the stuff in the back because I uh, when I was looking, yeah a little might be a little bit more outnumbered here, okay that is a Dwedge Custom from the Beam Bazooka uh, that's of course it's the general type so it can, uh it's really not a good thing for me to be fighting. Um, the best thing I've seen out of this group for me to be fighting is the G5, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, that is a Gym 3. Also not good for me to be fighting, but I think it was already out of boost. Certainly certainly I managed to uh, hit it faster, or hit it, you know, knock it down quicker than I expected to be able to. I think I just tried to tackle there without an actual tackle available. And yeah, those are very short-range knives. Be careful with that, because otherwise, you know, you'll just stand there, you know, 
swinging at the air and die, which is, you know, luckily I only did half of that. Although, you know, not for the, uh, not for the Dwudge Customs lack of trying. Poke with the rifle. Wow, 708. Yeah, that rifle does need a buff. Well, let's, let's be real. And I'm dead. So we're 1,500 points behind. Hopefully we can make that up. But could be much worse. Could be much, much worse. And let's see. How much time left? Uh, two and a half minutes, 400 points down. Yeah, um, I, I would really like it if we were bunched up a little more. But uh, I think we've got a good shot at this. Number five is throwing out some support fire. And number four is uh, in the Jetta is way off on their own. Let's see. I'm not sure they have a support. They probably do. I'm just, uh, I'm not sure I've crossed paths with it or not for very long. Um, that might have been what I was trying to run down at the beginning of the round, but, ah, brain, come on. Um, but yeah, right now, yeah, number four, unfortunately, there's just not a lot we can do for them. I uh, did manage to, okay, I, yeah, I remember being surprised by that that at the time, too. Was not expecting that Afrit Jaeger to be just that ready to uh, croak. But, let's see, got one swing on the Dwudge, it ran. There is the G5, did not hit anybody with those missiles that I uh, swerved so hard, but I was really hoping. Um, you know, sometimes, and yeah, up an up-angled uh, beam blast from that Dwudge that just... Ah, took up a lot of the screen. And, they, and ah, there is, I believe that is a Jim Cannon 2, and that is their support. And that is, you know, I need to be on that. Thank you, Ally, for, uh, for tagging that. Not quite enough time to finish it, but my teammates should be able to. I think just did. And, uh, yeah, um, I think, yeah, I think they got it, so... Uh, I'm not sure why I sent thanks. They might have stunned me into that death, I'm not sure. But either way, Jim Cannon's dead. We are very close. Hopefully we can, uh, we can tie it up. I am gonna throw out some, uh, I'm gonna throw out some, uh, support fire here on those two there. And hope. And let's see. Get back in there. Yeah, I I think this was another rated match reward. It started out as a clan match and then became rated match, which I am just hoping. Yes, I got two of them with the support fire, and we are now in the lead. Yeah, I am just hoping against hope that uh, Killy Zaku goes the same route, that we get a rated match where we can get that, because I really want to get that, and we were not able to get it during its clan match period. Clan match mobile suits, another thing that need to be, uh, you know, added to the general pool faster, in my opinion. But yeah, right now we are almost done, and I just kind of wanted to charge in and see what I could do with the time that was left, because I was pretty sure I'd survive, so. But yeah, it was a good round. We did well. And yeah, let's see. Uh, top damage at 85k, I'll take that. Our Dom Barrage was good with assists and getting uh, and uh, getting targeted. Six and three, two of which were admittedly that support fire, but... Uh, you know, the support fire <laughs> helped us win, so I'll take it. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Yeah, I don't think the uh, Jim Spartan RG di uh, got uh, buffed, though. The Renato version. Probably didn't need it, but yeah, just d I don't think they did anything to that.